Yes, it's Danny Glover, Fight Fan TV Live. You know who it is. We're back. Persistence beats resistance. Oh, yeah. Yes, Connor Wright, Mukunda Dadu, Alex Simps. Yeah, we're going to get something inside. Uh. Get something inside. You guys have been um, voting. <clears throat> Alicia. How's it going? Wave, wave. Let me wave some of you. Wave at some of you guys. Team Solid Training. Leon. Life is beautiful. Yes. You know where it is. Persistence beats resistance. Today is the... I was meant to do it yesterday, but um, I'm doing it today. It is the award ceremony of you know the categories of 2021 list. So we're gonna um, we're gonna get into this. So how we're we gonna start? Yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into this. We're gonna start with. How should we start this? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I had thirteen categories, but I may have reduced it down to twelve. Yes, Sajid, big up inside. So we are gonna start with knockout of the year. Now we know there was some big knockouts. Um, some of you can, inside here can give me some of your knockouts of the year um, if you want, but we've already done a list from the other day. Um, I compiled them into like a final slot and then I realized there were so many good knockouts that I even forgot to list some. Some of you probably may have forgotten them, you know, especially if they're at the beginning of the year, you know, they kind of go over your head, they phase out and everyone's gonna go and remember the last sort of big boy knockouts, especially like the um, Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley knockout, <laughs> Pugilist, <laughs> big up. Yeah, you know where it is, AKA Boxer, AKA the Boxinator, AKA the Blue Hefner, AKA the Black Peter Andre, AKA the Black Max Brennan, AKA the Black Ghost from Power, AKA, you know where it is, we keep going. <laughs> yes, Boss Don, recovered, you know where it is. The most honourable, <laughs> the most honourable, but um, yeah, you know, for instance, there was um, F.A. A Jagbar when he knocked out Brian Howard, slumped him. A lot of you lot forgot, even forgot that knockout. Go on YouTube now, or go on your phone when you're watching this back, and type in F.A. A Jagbar, Brian Howard. That knockout was serious. You know what it is, but yeah, so the actual, so we had the, the top four was Tyra, Jake, uh, Paul knocking out Tyron Woodley Oscar Valdez knocking out Miguel Burchelt which was my personal favourite but it's not about me this is about what you the fight fans voted for uh, Callum Smith knocking out Lennon Castillo that was number two and number one knockout of the year which you fight fans did you chose is Connor Ben knocking out Chris Algieri so well done Connor you won knockout of 2021 from the fight fans Sajid says like most middle aged men I can't remember things from a day to day so <laughs> things 20 years ago unclear I hear that I hear that a Jaguar was a good KO but the guy was standing to be sparked yeah but so was Tyron Woodley but he didn't win anyway Chris Algieri uh, Connor Ben knocking out Chris Algieri was the number one um so we'll go on to that because that was the men category now we're moving on to woman's KO of the year uh, we had Sanisa Estrada knocking out Santa C we had Dina Thorsland knocking out Selena Munoz we had Amanda Serrano knocking out Bermudez I forgot her first name but that was a good knockout I like that one but the number one knockout of 2021 in the women's category is Alicia Baumgardner over Terry Harper. Now that was a serious one because she was out. That's what you call, you see when someone says 
they was out on their feet. That's what that was. Terry Harper was out on her feet. And um, lucky the ref stopped that second one because we know otherwise that would have been some lights out James Tony business. Um, so yeah, Alicia Bam Garner, too sexy for this girl, too sexy for this girl, too sexy for this boxing, too sexy for this. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, we're moving on. Don't want to see my dance moves all evening. But um, the next category, prospect of the year. Yes, great shout, Harper is quality too. This was this is the fans choice. So this is this is shout outs to you guys, Sad. You have to shout out to you guys because you guys are the ones who voted. And Connor Wright. Oh, you was at the fight? Connor. Okay, Connor Wright was at the fight. That's good. So next uh, category is prospect of the year, 2021. Yeah, I know Harper's moving up weight. Hopefully she can do something. Um, prospect of the year. We had the likes of David Morell, Xander Zayas. One second, guys. One second. Xander Zayas, Gerard Anderson. I like that. I like that guy. He's going places. Johnny Fisher, Keyshawn Davis, Mark Castro, Dalton Smith. I didn't even put him on the list originally, but someone in the voting section, some uh, couple, uh, like two people actually voted for this guy. I was like, oh, okay, well, I have to put him in the nominees then. Uh, Brandon Lee, Dan Aziz, and the winner was, though, voted by the fight fans, is Solomon Dacus. Prospect of 2021. So big up Solomon. Solomon Dacus won. 2021 Prospect of the Year. So well done to you. So next category is fight of the year, actual fight of 2021. We had Gabriel Rosado versus Mungia. We had Sam Eggington versus Bilal Jikitu, the French guy, isn't it? And uh, Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Estrada 2 but the winner was voted by the fight fans fight of 2021 goes to Tiafimo Lopez well George Cambosis I have to label it now versus Tiafimo Lopez yeah George Cambosis beating Tiafimo Lopez that was the fight of 2021 so well done to t both Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosa because it takes two to tango you need your dance partner let's see some comments yes I said she's hot who's hot Sag? Alicia Bamgarna yeah of course she is but hands off yeah you go for Shannon Courtney or something <laughs> ah! anyways Harper, uh, Unreal Talent made Sokolowski light work. Yes, he's the only person who beat uh, uh, Sokolowski legit this year. <laughs> Let's think about it. <laughs> Let's think about it. So Solomon Dacus, big up, man. Um, upset of the year. We had, oh, we had loads. Okay, we got loads, you know. We got loads. We've got Kiko Martinez beating Kid Galahad. We've got Yamabuchi beating uh, Kenshiro. Oscar Valdez versus Burchell. Gabriel Rosado when he knocked out Melakuziev. That could have been a candidate for knockout of the year as well because that was another faith planter. There was like three faith plants this year. Taron Woodley when Jake Paul done him. Uh, Oscar Valdez face planted Miguel Burchell and Rosado face planted this Melikuziev who was due to fight Kovalev remember so like around that time obviously Kovalev we know he started jabbing himself on his own accord um, with other stuff but yeah so he Rosado was meant to just get slumped really and he knocked him out 
Um, so that was a big upset, the, one of the upsets of the year. Uh, Arias beating Jarrett Hurd. Sandor Martin against Mikey Garcia. Alicia Baumgardner versus Terry Harper. Lopez versus Flores. Gonzalez versus Soto. That guy was just waiting to get beat though, but that was an upset. Abreu versus B. Kula Komet. I didn't see that fight, but this is some, someone listed it. Usyk beating AJ. Ugas beating Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao. Cambosis beating Tiafimo Lopez. Uh, Jamie Mitchell beating Shannon Courtney, bigger RK champion. Yes, I have interviewed Solomon Dakers. Make sure you go and check that out on YouTube. Go back, check Fight Fan TV Live interviewing Solomon Dakers before his pro debut. Cool guy, man. But uh, let me get back to the list, sorry. Jamie Mitchell beating Shannon Courtney. Lee Wood beating Kanzu. No, people didn't see that one coming. And the Kanzu was touted to me. Um, Josh Warrington. Oh, sorry. And Josh Warrington. Uh, Mauricio Lara beating Josh Warrington. So see, they both got beat this year when they were both meant to have a unification. You see? You see what our boxing can happen? And they weren't even stalling their fight, really. And they both end up getting beat this year. Um, Sokolowski beating George Fox. Big upset there. Uh, Fedozov versus Majidov, that heavyweight fight on the zone where Majidov, when he went down, he like broke his ankle or some madness as he went down, boy, when he got dropped. And he got, yeah, that was mad. Um, but the winner is, voted by you fight fans, is Mauricio Lara beating Josh Warrington, number one. So, yeah, big up Mauricio Lara from Mexico. I'd never heard of him before that fight. None of you have heard of him before that fight. Do you remember also that guy who knocked out James Tennyson on the Chisora Parker card in Manchester as well? Remember, because before that fight, Johnny Nelson was talking about, yeah, James Tennyson, he will knock out Javante Tank Davis. I had to get onto him. Me and I had to get onto him on Twitter. Come on, let's stop being silly. And he ended up getting ironed out uh, by one Mexican. I forgot the guy's name. He could have been on the list too, but the winner is Mauricio Lara upsetting Josh Warren. So that's upset of the year. Big up Muller Muller and Sean Oliver Seven. Next category International Fighter of the Year. So we had Onito Donaire, Terence Crawford, Alexander Usyk, but the winner was. I think it's a bit obvious, ain't it? Canelo Alvarez. We can't argue with that, can we? Let's let's keep it a buck. Do you know what I mean? We gotta keep it a buck, people. One second. We gotta keep it a buck. Canelo Alvarez, fire of the year. International. Yeah, fire of the year. And then we had, you know, because we gotta give everyone a shot. Domestic fighter of the year. We had Lee Wood. We had Lawrence Acoli. We had Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor, you know. And you fight fans, you voted for Domestic Fighter of the Year goes to... Oh yeah, Maxi Hughes could have been on that as well. Uh, but the winner goes to Connor Ben. Domestic Fighter of the Year, fight fans voted for Connor Ben. Well done, Connor Ben. That means you're a winner in two categories already trainer of the year yes that's it Giovanni Straffen that's the guy and then didn't he go and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Savani Straffen yeah that guy that's the one who took out James Tennyson serious trainer of the year thank you Connor um, trainer of the year who are you guys going for got Papashenko Lomachenko's dad. Igor Golobuyev. I didn't even know the guy's name. Based the kid had to tell me the guy's name, but he's each one who trains George Cambosis. Uh, so shout out Based the Kid. A very close, very close second. Silver medal in this category goes to Ben Davison. But the winner 
of trainer of the year 2021 goes to Eddie Reynoso Eddie Reynoso see the fight fans pick I think that's a good fair shout promoter of the year we have Frank Warren Bob Arum Ben Shalom from Boxer so a lot of you People might not yet be familiar with uh, the promoter's name yet from Boxer on Sky Sports, but his name is Ben Shalom. Um, Frank Warren actually came second in this poll of the uh, promoter of the year. But the winner is Eddie Hearn. Like, there's no point in me drum rolling and there ain't no suspense in that. Eddie Hearn wins. That was quite clear cut and shut. He, too many big events, too much. It, it, too, like, you can't show for show. It's just too much, in it? You can't even argue. You can't even... De- weren't even really debatable, really. But you've got to give a man his flowers. And a category is a category. An award's an award. And he has to keep consistent. Because there's, all, there's loads of people coming on his heels. There's Ben Shalom from Boxer. There's whoever's behind them. There's, you know, there's the Pro Bellum guys. There's the there's the Cali Sauerlands. There's... Um, you know, PBC with Al Heyman, even though he's not a promoter, he's a manager, but you know what it is. There's Oscar De La Hoya, there's um, Waza, Waza Man. So there's new promotions even coming in. There's obviously Mick Hennessy with Channel 5. He's had a good year as well. Shout out to Mick. He's grinding. But yeah, Eddie Hearn promoter of the year. Event of the year. I <clears throat> uh, see. Um, so what I, I call the event of the year because uh, when I was doing these categories from uh, the other day but w- what a better word for it it seems what I can compare it to is Adi Aladipo he was saying he called his one um, atmosphere of the year but I called it event of the year but atmosphere so it's that kind of thing in it event, atmosphere, ambience I think, so I think that's where he's going we say it's going to be comparable to that um, it's big up Adi as well but um, event of the year we have Lara Warrington 2, because that was mental. Um, Smith Fowler, I really wanted to go to that show, but I couldn't make it for some reason. I'm so upset, but that would have been really good to be there. Canelo versus Avni Yildrim. You know, he had the whole Jay Balvin thing he was going in, big entrance and all that. That was real, you know. But the actual number one event slash atmosphere of 2021 goes to Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders that was with the Diriachi Mexican singers and it was all mad in this mad stadium it was like 70,000 or something like that in attendance down in Texas yeah that was serious um, Connor Wright he went to get beat by Maxi Hughes in the undercard of Warren and Lara too yeah Yep. Courts 101. Big ups. So, yeah, event of the year was Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. That was big. Um, I wonder what's happening that could happen for Billy Joe um, next year. Been kind of quiet um, since. Woman of 2021. I forgot I had this. But, yeah, the nominees are. Michaela Meyer, Chantel Cameron, Katie Taylor, Sanisa Estrada, Jessica McCaskill, Amanda Serrano, Clarissa Shields. Sanisa Estrada came in second. And the winner of Woman of 2021, Amanda Serrano. Big ups, Amanda. Woman of 2021, some big wins. She's had about how many fights she have? She had about three, three or four fights this year. Good stuff, man. And she broke up that last woman's face, but she was tough though. I'll give her that. Uh, premature stoppage of 2021. We had Takayama versus Soto. Do you remember Takayama? So that, that was a dead stoppage. Takayama even showed them it was rubbish. She started doing press ups after, like, come on, ref. I got more in me, ref. I got more reps in me, ref. You know what I mean? Um, 
Amo Williams versus Quartavius Cash. There was Majorov versus Soro when he started punching him like several times after the bell. Then the ref jumps in to stop, like stop the fight, like wave it off. Not stop him like you're punching after the bell. Stop it like yeah, the fight's over after he's punched him seven times after the bell. Dodginess. Bad. That's bad money, you know. Also, Egorov versus Stevanov. I didn't see that fight, but this is who some of the fight fans uh, picked as a nominee. And the winner is, for premature stoppage of the year, Austin Amo Williams versus Quartavius Cash. Premature stoppage of the year. So that's the worst stoppage of the year. Performance of the year 2021. The candidates are Lerone Richards vs. Carlos Congora, Sandor Martin vs. Mikey Garcia, Josh Taylor vs. Uh, Jose Ramirez. One second. Yeah. Uh, Alexander Usyk vs. AJ and Joshua. Dimitri Bivol vs. Salomov. Dan Aziz vs. Jose Burton. Michaela Maya vs. Hamaducci. Jamie Mitchell vs. Shannon Courtney. Ponce vs. Ritson. Um, and Shakur Stevenson vs. Jamel Herring. Now, me personally, I, I would pick Shakur Stevenson vs. Jamel Herring. But that's me. But it's not about me. It's about you, fight fans. This is the last category. And the performance of 2021 voted by you, fight fans, is <coughs> Dan Aziz beating Hosea Burton. Big up, Dan Aziz. Shout out. Well done to you. Performance of 2021. And that's it, guys. We've had the wrap up of 2021 voted by you thank you all for voting because it was a bit of a slow start some of you didn't really it's, it's like you didn't get how to vote because not every time i could just put a four person in a category box sometimes i'll just put the box thing there and you've got to write it and it'll come up in my thing so you just weren't getting those ones but then when i did the little voice thing you just started to get it so big up you guys 2021 we're gonna look to improve the settings you know, looking to get a spot to start doing some recording shows. You know, got some new, got some things in the pipeline. Got a few projects, got a few competitions. So we're going to get you guys more interactive and more involved when you guys interact. And there'll be competitions. Like, if you win a competition, then you know we will pay for your a pay per view, uh, an upcoming pay per view, or if there's you know. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. It could be on Fight TV. It could be or whoever, Sky Sports. So yeah, look out for those competitions coming up also, as well as uh, looking to start back getting some more interviews, more content, more coverage for you guys, exclusive. But you know where you want the latest and greatest. It's the master aficionado, Danny Glover. You know, got to always big up the predecessors and my olders. Man like Spencer Fearon, the master knowledge, and Tunde Ajayi, the master genius. I'm the new kid on the block. Danny Glover, the master aficionado. Cheers, my guy. Have a good rest of the year. You too, man. All of you, hope you had a great Christmas, Boxing Day. Hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, going to 2022 feeling fresh feeling good and positive vibes and staying safe so on that note it's danny glover from fight fan tv live make sure you like and subscribe leave comments in the comment section if you think any of the winners of 2021 you you disagree or you do agree or who you, you would have put in as maybe a nominee all that type of stuff leave your comments in the comment sections so we have engagement hit the like button the thumbs up button it's free of charge it's not a cash app it's no super chat just hit the like button 
and all that good stuff. Share with your friends, share with family who's interested in combat sports, fighting, boxing and all that good stuff. And yeah, bless up. Persistence beats resistance. <laughs>